I'm going to tell you, those are going to come they are in handy. They are coming handy, yes. <laughs> Hey YouTube friends, welcome to Arcade Treasure Center. My name is Roy. Well, let me tell you, it's 1030 at night and I actually had no intention of coming out to my little eBay room tonight and doing any work. I've worked the whole day working on my van conversion and maybe I'll show a clip at the end of a little bit of what we've done so far on the van conversion. But like I said, I had no intention to come out here and pull items, but since I'm out here, I decided to pull a little bit of items and I'll show you to show you what sold this evening and hopefully some more sells over the night and then I can show you what sold maybe tomorrow but let me tell you why I came out here I received a message about 15 minutes ago and if you watched my last video you saw that I sold a Pyrex bowl and I sold a, a Yankee candle and it was candy corn and buttercream. It was a discontinued candle. And I was so happy to sell those. Made some good money on those. Yeah, what you're expecting is probably what happened. Message I received saying that they ordered the bowl and they received the candle. It doesn't matter how foolproof it seems like I can try to make my shipping and my labels. I make a mistake. Fortunately, very 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 few times i mean maybe once a year fortunately for me my system works pretty good but i guess i got in a hurry it could be maybe the zip codes on the labels were close maybe i had them out of order i'm not sure what it was so right now i've already contacted the other person they haven't heard anything from them they and i saw it was delivered but i hadn't heard anything from them. and i contact them and i'm just going to see if maybe those guys or the people that bought them if they're going to send them back uh, maybe I can swap them out and send them back to the right people or if they just want a refund It's probably easier for me just to go ahead and give a refund uh, But I don't want to make the customers unhappy and of course that's probably gonna lead to some bad feedback, which It's my fault. So if that's what happens, that's what happens. I hope not I like having really really good feedback because you know feedback score can hurt after a while Fortunately, I'm at 100% positive feedback. So if I do get a negative feedback from one or both of those people it won't hurt me too bad, but I just hate making that mistake. And I really feel bad for them because you know what it is. You order something, it comes in the mail, you're expecting it, you're happy to get it, and then it's the wrong thing. That could be just traumatic. Anyway, uh, yeah, I hope that works out and I'll give you a follow-up either at, uh, like I said, on this video, if I hear something more or however it comes around, I'll give it to you in another video and let you know how that goes. But I'm sure you probably had some similar errors and we all make those mistakes. You know, put down in the comments if uh, you've done that and how you feel about it. Because I feel horrible about it. But what can I do? It happened. It happened. Mistakes do happen. Anyway, like I said, I have do have some sales. So let me go ahead and show you what I sold this evening that I was going to wrap tomorrow and film tomorrow. But I'm filming now. All right. So the first item that I have that sold is this Las Vegas coffee mug. This is not anything special, let me tell you. It's not anything unique about the coffee mug other than it says Las Vegas. It's got little Las Vegas chips all over it. While I picked this up at the thrift shop, I think I paid 50 cents for it, maybe 99 cents for it, I don't remember. But while I was at the thrift shop, I actually saw it and walked past it. But while I was there, I saw a silk tie. And of course, the silk tie has Las Vegas all over it. And it's got that kind of like old Las Vegas style look to it. And I thought that was really, really neat. And they wanted, I think a dollar for the tie. So what I did was I picked up the tie, walked back to the shelf where I saw the coffee mug, picked it up and decided to make it a lot and sell it with a coffee mug and tie. And that's what I did. I received an offer and these sold for $20 free shipping. So pretty good little deal. If you can make little lots like that. Oh, one thing I did want to talk about is on the back of this tie, the Las Vegas tie, it does say Museum Artifacts. So that was a good brand to find. And they were selling by themselves for about $11. But by throwing a coffee mug, I made a little bit more. Okay, so the next item I sold is another little Pyrex lid. You know, I love selling Pyrex lids. I've said before in my videos, I can pick these up for $0.50, cents, $0.25 cents at garage sales. I can pick them up for $0.50 cents to $0.99 cents at thrift shops. And they'll turn around and always make their money. This one is a little four ounce for a four ounce saucepan. 
and it's kind of a rose color so this is a it doesn't matter any pyrex lid i always make money on this one sold for and i forgot the price this sold for eight dollars and 99 cents and the buyer paid the shipping so i found this at the thrift shop this is an outdoor adventure it's an imagination adventures i actually think it sells at uh, cabela's or bass pro shops but this was at the thrift shop it was a dollar 99 and i sold this for 24 dollars 99 cents and i think that's free shipping but that was really good these sell for i think 19.99 20 dollars 25 i think 25 dollars at cabela's or bass pro shops is what they sell 25 so i listed at 24.99 and that's what i sold at but i didn't include shipping i think it was free shipping all right so i picked up this knitted crib sheet nothing special about it it's just a little knitted crib sheet um inexpensive i think i paid 99 cents for the thrift shop i really picked it up because i thought we were going to use it as someone to give to because it's brand new and we decided not to we decided to give it a better gift <laughs> and not i was going to include this with some other stuff but we decided to give another gift a different gift for the baby shower this is 100 percent cotton little knit sheet this sold or i got an offer for it and i went ahead and took it just to get rid of it this sold for six dollars plus shipping so i was at an estate sale and i picked up a bunch of different camera equipment and some of it i, I thought it was all goes together because i thought it was for the little old cameras but there was a lot of mixtures and hodgepodge worth of stuff but inside this little case is a lens this is a little vivitar vivitar lens and this uh part of the bulk buy so i don't have an individual price i probably got maybe i don't know a dollar to two dollars into it if you break down all the individual prices but this sold for fifteen dollars and 95 cents and i believe that was free shipping as well all right so i've got the pillsbury doughboy of course if i push the little belly he doesn't giggle and if you're old enough to know about those commercials you'll know what i'm talking about but i picked up this pill this uh wilton pillsbury doughboy it's made by the Wilton Company. This one is actually, and I think it's marked on top right here. This one is actually 1974, but look at that condition. It's really, give me a few little minor scratches, but look at it. It doesn't even look like it was hardly ever used. It's a little cake pan, jello pan. This little guy, I saw him and decided just to pick him up. Paid $1.99 for him at the thrift shop. A lot of, at this thrift shop, I go to a lot of things are priced $1.99. So you'll hear me say $1.99, $1.99 over and over and over. And that's what this was marked at, $1.99. And this guy sold for $15, plus the buyer paid the shipping. And those were all the items that I sold today, this evening, I guess I should say. Since I wrapped this morning, those were all the items that I sold this evening. And uh, again, you probably might not have seen those because I don't show all my sales. It's just whenever I decide to do some recording, I'll show my sales. And since I had to come out here tonight, I went ahead and showed those. So if I get any more throughout the night, and tomorrow, I will show you and add to you what's sold for tomorrow. All right. Let me see if I can see if I got any eBay messages back to find out if I got to do any refunds or bite the bullet, whatever I got to do to make up for my mistake. But uh, I catch you here, I think, tomorrow. All right. So don't go anywhere. It'll be tomorrow. Just wait a second. Well, good morning. It is the next day, and I did have a couple more sales last night. But before we get into those sales, we're working on a van conversion and it looks like a woodworker's workshop outside. I've got scrap wood everywhere. I've got my saw over there, table saw, sanding bench, more scrap wood. This is all, all pieces of scrap and stuff that we've been doing from building this van conversion, which is a mess from right here. But I did get everything complete. So the solar's up and working. I've said that before. The water is completely done now. I got my external. I still got to build like a little shower box type thing on, that's going to mount on this door. But the water's up and working. Uh, once I clean up my bed workbench, we'll have that done. But I still got to finish up a couple more things over here. So let's go ahead and let's go around to this side. And I'll show you. This is what I've done. This is my finish. I've finished the kitchen part. Still got to finish the floor. Still got to finish this part over here. But I have finished the kitchen part. It is complete, working, and running. Now, now right now, I got no water in the tank, but we already tested it. The sink works just fine. Gas works just fine, so the stove's going to work. Got these wonderful cabinets. They open up. It's got plenty of storage room in there. This is going to be really, really nice. And I built these little cabinets down here. 
that's gonna be great and I just got through building this little drawer and that's gonna be a nice little drawer and Kim decided she wanted the, these leather handles right here which are really really cool and actually the leather handles are from an old from an old belt we picked up a couple matching belts and that's what these are yeah seeing there are a couple matching belts because she wanted that turquoise look just about got this wall panel done it's my electrical control panel it has a water pump light or fridge and a nuclear sign and that's actually going to be for the toilet fan <laughs> but um I turn on my inverter i keep not track of my voltage it's coming in back here and this is what it's looking like of course like i said it's still quite a mess still got some wires i got to connect because i'm going to make another cabinet here oh you can't really see it but check out this under lighting wow i thought that was really nice just something to add to it but a couple more little other things right here and that's how it's looking so what do you think guys do you think uh my little van build's coming out pretty good now it looks like we're doing an awful lot and it really is but what i've done is i've created this thing so that this part right here will be called the garage that's what that's called in the van life community is your storage area is your garage so when we go out sourcing picking whether it's garage sales wherever we can travel to different states we can go to different places and while we go along the way i can be selective and look for certain things that i know are going to make some money so i don't have to just buy a bunch of oddball stuff i can be selective we get to enjoy a trip and I can store everything I need to store right inside this garage until we get back home where I can put it on eBay and sell it for some big bucks. But this is how it's coming out so far. So I hope you like the van conversion. Uh, more about it later on in the future and future videos and talking about it. But right now, let's go ahead and let me show you the, uh, I think it was three things that sold last night after I went to bed. So let's go ahead and check them out. So I walked back in my eBay room and I walked past my little TV right here, which is off. And I don't know, you can't really see it, but I can see my reflection. And when I saw my reflection, my hair was atrocious from working outside. I don't know why you guys didn't tell me my hair was looking so bad for recording, you know, because I want to try to look at least half decent. So I had to redo my hair. <laughs> anyway, let me go ahead and show you some of the items that sold. So we're going to go right in here to M4. And I see it back here. This Wrangler deck of playing cards. This is a playing cards that I found when in a lot when I bought a whole bunch of stuff from a garage sale. They're still sealed, so I listed them, and they sold for six dollars. And the buyer paid the shipping. We're gonna come around over here and go to the Q shelf. So this is something that I've had for a little while, but I finally sold it, and that's this little longer burger basket. This little longer burger basket sold for $9.99 and the buyer paid the shipping. This was one of those 99 cent buys over at the thrift shop and it says longer burger on it and it's got a date 19, what does it say? 1995. And then while we're here, we'll just come over here to the B2 shelf or the B2 bin and inside the B2 bin and we'll just take the lid off. Is this package right here? Yes, this is at number 218. All right, so you can't see it, but inside this package is a ebony hand-carved wood sculpture. It's a woman and a child, and this was a really, really good find. Picked this up at the thrift store, paid $1.99 for it. This sold for $30, free shipping, and it's not real lightweight. It's going to go out at under a pound. All right, so the last item that I have to sell is over here on the eye shelf. And it's these right here. They're bagged up, but they're little three-pound barbells or dumbbells, barbells. Anyway, these are retail arbitrage. I picked these up at Walmart. The Walmart was having a sale on barbells, dumbbells. I, I don't know why. They were in the clearance aisle. They were 50 cents a piece, so I had to pick them up. I picked up, I think they had seven of them, so... Anyway, I've sold them all except for these last two. These are the, la this is the last two that sold. And in case you're wondering, let me see if I can get them out of the bag right here just so you can see one. See, they are three, three pound barbells and they're heavy. Now, these sold for $18.99 free shipping. I sold them at that price. They're not anything expensive. They're not any name brand. I think these are called CAP, C-A-P. And these like i said 50 cents a piece couldn't pass them up so i went ahead and listed them listed them at free shipping and in case you're wondering i got all, all i'm going to do is wrap them up in a little cardboard make like a little cardboard box for them 
and stick them into a flat rate envelope. This flat rate envelope will ship out for a little over eight dollars now with the shipping prices. And I don't know if you can see it, but it says for domestic shipping, the maximum weight is 70 pounds. For international shipments, the maximum weight is 20 pounds. So it's hard to get 70 pounds worth of items in here, but since there's going to be six pounds worth of dumbbells, they're going to go right inside there. Like I said, they're going to be wrapped up in some cardboard so they're protected and it's going to be taped up really good. So I figured out the best way to do it. First of all, I got my little business card. I'm going to take my business card. I wrote thank you on the back of it. I'm going to take it and I'm going to stick it in a bag of one of these dumbbells. Now, as you can see, I've got two boxes here. This is a small flat rate box. You can buy these small flat rate boxes or you can get these, not buy these, but you can get these at the United States Postal Service. You can go over and pick them up at your post office. They usually have flat rate boxes lying around just so you can pick up and use for your convenience. But one thing I did is I went to the United States Postal Service online, USPS online, and I picked up this. This is called a 1096L, and it's actually larger than the small flat rate box. Now, you can't mail this out at a small flat rate price. You see, this one says small flat rate, one rate, or small flat rate box, one rate, any weight. Say that five times fast. And if you look at this one, it just says mailing box for domestic and international use. But as you can see, when I put them side by side, this one's a little bit taller and it's a little bit wider. So I did try to take one of these and stick it in here and it just wasn't going to work. So that's not going to work. I thought, well, if I could mail it out in a small flat rate box, that would be wonderful, but I can't. So let's get rid of that. So the next thing I used was to try this. And let me tell you guys, I put this in here, and of course I'm trying to do this one-handed. Look at it, just right, fits just right. So I'll get this one, stick it in there. Look at that, I could put a third one in there if I needed to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this box down a little bit. I got my little handy dandy knife, and all I'm going to do is just trim the sides. It's hard to do with my camera but uh, i don't know if you can see it I'm, you're probably too close to be seeing this so let me get these cut up here real quick no oh, sorry for the camera work i'm trying to do this one-handed i don't think i split this one up all the way on this side oh, maybe i do all right so i'm going to take this and fold it in and fold this one in like this fold those in and fold this i'm going to fold this one down and under so that it goes under like this take my little strip i don't know how well you can see this i'm going to take my little strip of tape right here sticky tape and pull this off oh that wasn't a very good job of doing that Oh well, we still have enough for what we need. All right, bring this around, bring this around. Look at that, sealed up, sealed up nice and tight. Now that will fit into a plated flat rate box. All right, move this. And let's seal this up. All right, there it is. Six pounds of dumbbells in a one flat rate envelope that's going to get mailed out. Just got to put a label on it, put it, take it with the other packages, and take it to the post office. But that's how you do that. All right, so I got my lovely wife Kim with me. Hi, everybody. And the reason she's here at the time of this video is because we've got some fan mail. That was really nice, and I don't want you to see the address, but we got some fan mail. This is from Danielle. So, Danielle, thank you very much. We appreciate it. It was a wonderful surprise. Danielle was uh, one of the winners from the giveaway we had, uh, like, last month, a few weeks ago. And she sent a wonderful card, and I read it, and inside the card was pretty amazing. I appreciate it. Yes. Uh, it was a wonderful thank you card. I mean, it's beautiful. Look at it so cute <laughs> oh, that is so cute hello and danielle lives down by san diego 
and she said that once we get our van converted done if we decide to go towards southern california that uh, she invited us that we could stop by and we might take you up on that yeah. we, we just might and one thing she sent was a bag full of like sanitation wipes a big old bag full of sanitation <laughs> this is wipes really awesome and she <laughs> says this is for roki so you don't get him or her dirty <laughs> And I appreciate it. Thank you very much, Daniel. Mm -hmm. That was a very kind thought. Uh, I'm going to tell you, those are going to come they are in gonna handy. They are going to come in handy, yes. The little tiny sanitation wipes are, are going to be handy because when that little tiny van, we don't have a whole lot of room for a lot of storage, so little things like this can go up in a cabinet. Yeah, and, and you can use them for showers. I think they're a little small for showers. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to be able to wipe my hands and clean my face and wipe up after I eat and whatever else we need to wipe down inside the van. So Danielle, it was so sweet of you. Thank you so much from the bottom of our hearts. So, it just amazes me. Yeah, so we appreciate it very much. So one other thing I wanted to show you is that Kim does a really good job of drawing. She's a great artist. I'm really proud of her. And she just did a couple more drawings for our granddaughter. And I thought I would let Kim show these pictures and do a little explanation because it's going to be for our granddaughter's birthday. Yeah. So I'm going to let her, I'm going to hand it off to her real quick. Do you know these are actually our great, great grand dog and great, great grand cat. Great. But she's not a great granddaughter. So she would. These they would just are, be grand dogs. No, she's our granddaughter. And so they would be our great, great. They're not her, her kids. Yes, they are. I know. <laughs> <laughs> They're her babies. <laughs> anyway, these are our grand dog and grand cat because she's our granddaughter. <laughs> I think so this is her corgi and I cannot say his name for anything so um, I hope she'll like him and this is her cat Tara and I haven't drawn too many cats so um, this was probably my third attempt but I hope she'll like him happy birthday Sadira we love you so much and hope you have a wonderful birthday well, those are some really awesome drawings. She does a really, really great job. I enjoy it so much. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you liked it, be sure to click the, that thumbs up button. Smash that thumbs up button. Smash it. Smash that thumbs button. <laughs> also, if you're not a subscriber, hit that subscribe button. And if you're a reseller, go out there, find it, sell it, profit. I hope you make a lot of money, make a ton of profit. So everybody, be safe, be kind to one another, take care, and have a great day. And happy Easter. Love Bye. you all. Bye-bye. <laughs>